We moved to this newly built house five years ago and as you can see on the door the plastic trim is really yellowy because of the sun exposure and I really am not happy. So I decided to change the whole thing including these gorgeous planters that I bought many many years ago and they used to be black and now all the black faded and I just killed the weeds and I'm going to prep the area and take you to the journey so if you want to see the end results keep on watching Welcome back to my channel I hope you're all well and enjoying your day so far I'm back to school back to work but before I went back to work the last project I did is this uh, front door and front area front garden so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new this is my channel for the first time my name is Shule and I really love anything and everything to do with home decorating DIY cooking cleaning organizing and definitely shopping so in today's video if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel for more relaxing and inspirational videos the very first thing I did is to clean the door. I got rid of all the stains and I rinsed it as well and it was ready for me to paint the next day. And then I tackled with the new plants that I bought around June time from HomeSense for $14.99 and it has some purple mauve hues but it wasn't enough for my taste so I had to do something about it and I spray painted. I used the similar tones mauve color acrylic paint and it turned out so beautiful and so natural. Perfect for my new door. just remove all the plants inside and this is a retired looking pine tree from Ikea and in a minute you are going to see how I actually revive it. These artificial plant pots are also from Ikea and I might actually use them in the other black planters so we just have to see. I'm using this universal all surface spray paint in matte black and I really love the effect. It was a bit pricey. I either paid £10 or £15. I can't remember which one but it's worth every penny because they both turned beautiful, really brand new and definitely hard wearing as well. And here you can see the coloring difference once I painted one side and these giant uh, terracotta, not terracotta, but ceramic uh, pots are from Wilkinson many years ago and I paid something ridiculous, something like 15 pounds each and this was probably more than 15 years ago and I really loved the shape but I wasn't happy with the uh, faded color. And then I cleaned the window and I cleaned all the cobwebs around the door as well. I decided to clean the floor as well while my pots were drying. I used a lot of Domestos bleach to clean the pavement and I was very very happy with the results. For the 
this task I would normally use pressure washer however on this side of the garden I don't have any outside tap so I couldn't instead I use a lot of elbow grease a lot of uh, bleach and I was very happy with the end result after soaking and scrubbing I left it for at least 10 minutes before I washed it off and this is the paint that I will be using it's Valspar paint and it is exterior gloss and I specifically got it mixed This is the next day, floor is nice and clean and dry and now I'm tackling with the fun part of the job which is painting the door. I even bought a black new mat because I decided to pin the old one. I used masking tape to cover all the edges so I didn't have to clean much afterwards. Let's go and test the paint. Gorgeous. And in no time, the first coating was done. bothered with the protective sheet and I had very little uh, to clean afterwards so it wasn't that bad while I was waiting for the door to dry for my second layer I decided to plant these gorgeous plants gorgeous perfect color for the door and those window planters I will be using those let me share you my tip I use cling film to cover the brush while I'm waiting for the layers to dry time it was dry enough for me to apply the second coat I changed the direction of my brush according to groove of the wood While the door is drying, I'm going to tackle with other things and one of the things that I'm going to be doing is to unpack this gorgeous black uh, coil mat. Camera doesn't do justice, you cannot see all this uh, jute color, it's all black to my eye. I bought it from b and and it was only £7. One of my friends gave me this spray paint that is in dark green so I decided to use this spray paint to revamp my uh, pine tree from Ikea and I was so surprised with the end result it worked like a magic And 
look at the difference. One of them is spray painted and the other one is faded from the sun. You will be seeing these mini Christmas trees over at the Christmas. Don't forget to revisit to see how I decorate with them. Okay, are you ready with the big reveal? Let's just remind ourselves what it looked like before before the makeover and now look at it it is just gorgeous i'm really really in love with how things turned out in love with the color in love with the black and purple combination it looks so elegant and i'm so happy with this uh, artificial grass and i even found some black pebbles and i placed this over the the white stones and I share this one with you over at the Instagram if you are not following me on the Instagram why don't you do so so you can see my projects on the day that I'm tackling with After taking this video I decided that I wasn't happy with the colors of the header balls because they faded as well so I decided to revamp them as well using this acrylic paint and I used two shades of purple. I always find that using few shades of the same color always adds interest to any project. This is how it's looking now and now I'm going to DIY a black I'm thinking wreath for fall so you have to come back to my channel to see that wreath video it's gonna be black and it's gonna be purple but I don't know how I'm going to do it so you have to come back and see I hope you enjoyed watching this makeover and found it inspirational for your own projects. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, share it with someone who is considering to paint their door to a bold color and subscribe for more relaxing and inspirational videos. And until the next video, my friends, stay safe. Bye bye.